Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Today is the anniversary of the birth in 1913 of Rosa Parks, one of the uh, leaders of the American Civil Rights Movement. She, uh, in uh, December 1955, was sitting on a bus in the coloured section and was instructed to give up her seat uh, to a white person because the white section of the bus was full and she refused and she was arrested uh, for civil disobedience. And what followed was the uh, famous um, uh, bus strike um, from uh, in Montgomery, Alabama. It lasted many, many months. And for a lot of it, the, um, the black community in, in Alabama was able to organize itself through car sharing uh, so that they could get to work and do the other things that they needed to do um, moving around. But um, the mayor uh, of Alabama began to realize that this was um, uh, a device which enabled the strike to, to go on. And so he brought a legal action against uh, any kind of car sharing and the law courts in Alabama were very much on the side of the mayor uh, and so the morning came when it was almost certain that the verdict would be given that this car sharing was illegal and this would really have undermined the strikers will and ability to maintain the strike because uh, then they would have had no way of getting to work and that would have been almost impossible economically for them. And so everyone was in deep despair that after all these something like 10, 11 months of, of strike and, and, and campaigning that everything was going to end in a damp squib and they were going to fail. Everyone was very despondent. And just at that moment, just as the verdict was being prepared in the court in Alabama, a message came from the Supreme Court in Washington that the judges there had decreed that bus segregation in Montgomery, Alabama was unconstitutional. In other words, the strikers had won a triumphant victory. Everything had gone how they wanted it to go and uh, they were vindicated. What this made me think uh, about was the, the need never to give up, always to be optimistic. Um, Obviously, for, for Christians, the, 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 the resurrection, the bringing of life out of death is, is at the heart uh, of the Christian faith. The idea that God can make um, apparently impossible things happen, even um, from the worst situations. And, 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 and that kind of faith is enormously encouraging. But even for those who don't have it, um, positive thinking, optimistic thinking can be enormously valuable. There's, there's a, quite a bit of evidence that suggests that um, when you think positively about something, when you expect something to go well, uh, in spite of evidence to the contrary, then it is more likely that it will. And so today, I, I think it's just a day to, to, to try and sustain that optimistic uh, outlook on life, a belief that even life itself has a propensity to sustain itself and to, to, to continue. And so there, there is a movement in life and indeed one that comes through Christian faith that leads us to believe that we can justifiably be optimistic that things don't always go right of course and often despondency is is valid and and uh, is the only response but but even even within the worst despondency let's today try and maintain an, a positive outlook an optimistic attitude because I think that way things are more likely to come out right